Hello everyone. Today, tonight, I will be drinking the Mayan Bourbonic by Cascade Brewing. This is a 2017 release. It is in the Northwest Sour series. It's a porter with cocoa, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, and dates. So a sour porter. Um, generally when you say sour, you're going to be talking about um, lambics, uh, wild fermented beers. Uh, you can also talk about um, beers that are that are not wild fermented. I'm not sure what the other title or what the opposite title is, but um, you know, other beers that have a sour character that are not necessarily fermented with um, wild yeasts. Uh, in general, you're going to be characterized by more fruity flavors. You'll also have um, generally a higher component of lactic acid in the in the beer, which is what produces the sourness. Um, I am particularly interested in this one because it is another one of the peppered beers, the Mayan Bourbonic. Um, so it's an imperial porter. So imperial, as we've talked of before, that just means they turned it up to 11. Um, so more malt, more yeast, more hops. Well, maybe not more yeast. Um, more malt means more sugar. And the same amount of yeast with more sugar produces more alcohol. Um, so higher sweetness content, higher alcohol content. It is an 11, just over 11% ABV. However, this is from 2017. And generally, your ABV is expected to rise a little bit. The serving suggestion on this is to serve at 40, which is a little bit on the cool side for porter. Generally, if you're looking at a at a typical porter, you're wanting to serve 50, a little bit above 50 degrees. Um, so leaving your bottle out for an hour or an hour and a half, um, or frankly, chilled tap water in the Northwest is like right at 53 degrees most of the time. So <laughs> I just use that, stick my bottle in a in a uh, pot of water, let it sit there for a bit. Um, but I'm really interested to see how this turns out. As I've mentioned before, um, I have had good examples of um, chocolate chili porters and stouts and beers before, and I've had bad examples. This being a sour, I'm kind of interested in what that means and uh, what that brings to the party. Um, it being just cayenne pepper versus like ancho or chipotle. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm really, yeah, I'm definitely smelling the sour. So if I had just popped open a feeder beer, um, that's spelled F-O-E. It's foreign. <laughs> I would expect that that's what I'd be smelling. I am definitely picking up some stone fruit to the side of cherry. That's pretty typical for a for a sour. Um, there's some depth to it. Not quite as much molasses as the beer I drank last week. Um, absolutely no head on this. Well, I say that. Um, very, very little. Very little head. Um, but what's there is nice. Rocky, they would call it. Okay, um, a bit boozier than last time. I'm trying to remember the name of the beer I drank la last week. I've probably had too much beer since then. Nah. Um, there's um, a different type of fruit in this. That's probably where the dates come in. It is dates, right? Yeah, it's dates. Dates. Yeah. Like dates have a real, real fructose sweetness, um, and and kind of uh, you know they're 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 more mellow than a raisin, far more mellow than a cherry, but they just have kind of this really solid, smooth, warm sweetness to them, um, and that's what I'm picking up. I mean, there's definitely cherry. I guess have to talk about this. Why smell the beer? 
enjoyment is multi-layered. That's why. Um, you know, it's it's part of the craft. Uh, a beer that smells bad is probably going to taste bad. A beer that smells good is going to taste good. You know, they've done experiments with plugging people's noses and having them eat chocolate or drink coffee, and they detect nearly none of the flavors. And that's because um, a lot of our taste, it happens in the nasal passage. And it's not just through the front of the nose, but simply through air being able to communicate around. As you take food into your mouth, the 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 components that smell rise through the back of your mouth also into your nasal passages and and produce and, and are part of what I'm tasting. I drink beer because I enjoy beer. It's tasty. And part of that taste is the flavor. And generally, kind of taking the, the, the smell of the beer is like the appetizer before I drink it. It tells me what I'm looking forward to. And there can be beers where the smell has nothing at all to do with what I end up tasting. And those can be interesting or those can be, what the heck is going on? There are beers that, um, you know, where it's, it's really consistent and you can, you, you smell what you get, you know, what you see is what you get, uh, where it's, you know what you're going to get based on what it smells like. Uh, this beer is telling me what I'm going to taste and we'll see if it's right. I'm guessing right now that it is right based on the sorts of things I'm smelling. I'm not smelling any sort of chemical flavors. It's all very much the kind of the, the lactic acid fruitiness, that, that bright, uh, well not bright, but the cherry uh, kind of forefront, kind of a, a date-like sweet backbone. Um, just the barest hint of molasses that's very typical for a porter. And now I'm looking forward to drinking it. So let me get my nose back in there and then Yeah, maybe some brown sugar. It's really different layers of sweetness on the nose is mostly what I'm getting. And not just not just candy, not just, you know, sucrose or high fructose corn syrup or something like that. It's, it's complex and pleasant and enjoyable sweetnesses. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Okay, yes. Okay, this this is definitely a sour. Far more of a sour. Um, there's a bit of porter in there. But I took that in my mouth expecting kind of this, you know, molasses-y, um, dark cherry, prunes, um, with maybe a, a touch of spice on the back end from the, from the um, cayenne. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, definitely, I'd have to look for the cinnamon. I can get a bit of cocoa, but the first thing that hits my mouth is a really, really bright, tasty, like mouth-watering sour. Um, that's good. And I'm still, I'm still getting different layers. Okay, I'm feeling the heat now, um, and there's some kind of warmth inside my mouth. Like with cayenne pepper, you taste cayenne pepper more mostly in the back of your throat. It, it provides kind of a general warmth in your mouth and then it, it, it it's mostly your it lingers in your throat. So I am feeling a little bit of heat in the throat from the cayenne pepper. So kudos. Things that I would expect to be developing over the five years since this has been bottled because it was bottled in 2017. Things I would expect it to be, be developing is that the flavors kind of all mellow in on themselves and more of those under like foundational bedrock flavors would would come up and become uh, both stronger, more pronounced, and more complex at the same time. Generally, the, the high notes would kind of fall in, so those bright, sour notes, I would expect them to come down, but it makes me wonder what this tasted fresh. Um, like I've said before, my aging cupboard, cupboard is far from optimal, but hey, it's an aging cupboard. Um, Wow, that's tart. It's really tart. Not, not the tartest beer ever, but oh man, that 
that's that's a that's a trip. Wow. Um, okay, so like I said, super bright, sour fruit just kind of fills the whole mouth. Um, you're you're you are you are being told to swallow quickly because it's sour. But it's but if you hold it in, you get you kind of go from the fruit to the pit. And, and you know with the pit it brings in kind of that that herbal um, almost woody character and there's like three or four different distinct layers that you're getting as you just hold this in your mouth for three seconds four seconds yeah um, some woodiness um, I mean the, the, the fruit sour is just dominant it's just there uh, but then you're you're tasting more of the other, the secondary flavors, the woodiness, the the pit, um, some herbaceous. That's probably the cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's probably the cinnamon. And as you exhale after having swallowed it, there is definitely some cinnamon warmth because cinnamon is a it's a spicy spice. It's it brings some warmth to a dish, and so I'm definitely picking up that warmth, um, not just a cayenne warmth, but a, a more um, Excuse me, a more like like you know holiday spice kind of warmth almost. Not that this is a holiday beer. Uh, I mean, not that you wouldn't drink it on holidays, but it's not a typical spiced holiday beer. Um, dang, that's good. <laughs> I'm really happy. I have half of this bottle still left, at least, to drink this evening, and I've got a whole another one in the cupboard. Um, hmm. That's really good. That takes you on a real trip. There's not a bad or off flavor in there. It's all really interesting and tasty, and it, it takes you on a ride. If you like sours, you're probably going to really like this. Um, because it's not a super hard sour, if you're interested in seeing what a sour can be, this might be... Especially if you're if you're also interested in the other flavors. If you like porters, if you like your dark, strong beers, um, you know, if the other things are in your okay range, this this is a good one. Um, this might be an interesting way to explore a high-end, well-crafted sour. Um, but if you like sours, yeah. So this has been Cascade Brewing's Mayan Bourbonic, specifically the 2017 bottling. Um, I went back a couple years ago to Total Wine and I was looking for ageable beers and uh, I got two bottles of this. Um, it's not at all what, uh, what I was expecting, but sour is right. <laughs> um, one thing I would say, I'm not picking up any prominent bourbon notes, um, which in a beer this this explosive, I wouldn't expect that. Um, for the bourbon notes to actually stand out, they would have to be really strong to the point of possibly being off-putting. So I, I'm not disappointed not tasting bourbon. Um, but I would say that in the general complexity, the foundational kind of earth and and wood and, and grass, like foundation um, notes of this beer's flavor, there's probably some complexity in there that is thanks to the bourbon barrel. So yeah, Cascade Brewing's Mayan Bourbonic from 2017 in their Northwest Sour Series. That's good stuff. <laughs>